Hi everyone. Welcome to another session of Training Tips with Ward. In the video that follows, what I'm going to be doing is dealing with a problem that all of us encounter at one time or another. What is that? Well, it's when we have a dog that has been working through the utility exercises very, very well. We're working on scent discrimination, and he's been doing a remarkable job. And then, all of a sudden, he decides, I've never seen this exercise before. I don't know what we're doing. And he starts making mistakes. He starts picking up the wrong article, bringing it halfway back, dropping it, running back to the pile. All of these things start to happen. Now, the question then becomes, what should the handler do in terms of dealing with this situation? My answer, and that of most people, is make it easier for the dog, set the dog up for success, work close to the articles. Now, in that case, people will then start to ask, well, how many articles should I reduce to? How close should I be to the pile? Uh, what are the criteria that I, that I judge this by? This always bothered me, and I wanted to have a particular system that one could, anyone could do that would accomplish these particular points. In other words, get closer to the dog, reduce the number of articles so that the dog has it easier it's an easier job for the dog. In other words, set your dog up for success. So in my case, what I decided to do was to set up a structured sort of regime where one could work through these problems and the dog would learn to enjoy it. It would be easy for him at first and, uh, and then more difficult as time progressed. In order to do this, what I did was develop a system what I call the Golden Triangle. And the reason I call it the Golden Triangle is because it's worth its weight in gold. It really tends to resolve the problems that I've identified previously. Well, what is it? It's a case of setting up articles on the points of a triangle. So what I've done in the following video is show the position of the articles as, as indicated by the small pylons that I've placed out there because it is a bit of a distance in terms of seeing the articles. It may be a little difficult. So each of the triangle points, one here in front, one to each side, is a point that is 25 feet from the others. I've also put a pylon in the middle, and that's where I, as a handler, would work from with my dog in terms of the points of a triangle. Now, each of the points of a triangle initially has four articles. So that means directly behind me, I would have one type over to the other side, I would have another type, and over to the other side, I would have another type. In this particular example, I have metal directly behind me, wood to the right, and leather to the left. Now what I'm going to do is take my dog, in preparation for working a full pile, I'm going to take my dog and I'm going to move to the center of this triangle, which is relatively close, maybe eight feet or, or a little more, away from the point of the triangle, and I'm going to send him from that point to the articles, all four of which are the same, and I will have placed a scented article of the same type in there. So once again, it's going to be here behind me, there's going to be a pile which represents the point of the triangle, that is metal. There'll be four metals, and a scented metal will be placed in. Over to the right, behind me, there's going to be four wood, and a wooden article will be placed in. Over on the left, it's going to be four leather, 
and there'll be a leather scented article placed in that group. I then take my dog to the center of the ring and I work him two times around. So he's going metal, wood, leather, metal, wood, leather. Do that twice around and then I take all of the articles and bring them together in the center and I'll make the center being or rather at the point of the triangle where I'm standing. So all of the articles would go down there. Now if you don't wish to use all of the articles, if you still want to make it easy for your dog, you could then take one of each and add a scented article of your choice, either leather, wood, or metal. Find. Give. In this case, I've got a wooden scented articles along with four wooden unscented articles behind me. Here, watch. Fine. Yes. Give. Again. So in this case, I have leather articles, four of which are unscented and one of which is scented. So we'll send Dash to them. Hey, watch. Find. Give. Here, watch. Find. Give. Yes. Here, watch. Find. Give. Yeah. Find. Give. So that's a demonstration of what I call the golden triangle for fixing problems in our scent, scent discrimination exercise. If, again, you have trouble with the dog, make sure you reduce the distance, reduce the number of articles, and if you set it up in this manner, you can use leather, wood, metal, or whatever order you want. Once the dog goes through that several times around initially, then bring the other articles into the center so they're all together. This is an excellent training system and it usually works without any problems whatsoever. The reason being that the dog is less stressed by working fewer articles and initially, we don't challenge the dog with differing types of articles. We simply let him go around the triangle a couple of times, sometimes even three times around, and let him work a group of articles of the same type at each point in the triangle. <clears throat> then when you go to add the articles to the center, you can make it as difficult or as easy as you wish in accordance with the ability of your dog. Well, I hope this helps you.
and I hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget, have fun training your dog.